In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll go over VLAN management on SG550 and SG350 series switches. Next. For this example, we'll be working with an SG550 series switch. We'll start by logging into the web user interface and navigating to the VLAN settings under VLAN management. Here we can create multiple VLANs. By default, VLAN 1 is created. We'll click the Add button to create our new VLAN. For this example, we'll create a VLAN 2 with the VLAN name as Test. In order to enable the VLAN, make sure VLAN interface state is enabled. Next, we'll assign a port to the newly created VLAN. All ports are a part of VLAN 1 by default. Now we'll navigate to Port VLAN Membership under VLAN Management. For this example, we'll be assigning port number 2 to VLAN 2. In order to do so, we need to select the port number and click Join VLAN. Here, we will set the Access VLAN ID as 2 and click Apply. Here we can see that port number 2 has become a part of VLAN 2. In case we want ports to be part of multiple VLANs, we'll need to change the interface settings under VLAN Management. We can change the port mode from Access Mode to Trunk Mode. For this example, we'll choose port number 3 and convert it from Access Mode to Trunk Mode. To do so, we'll select the port and click on Edit. Now, we'll change the Interface VLAN mode from Access to Trunk and click Apply. Port number 3 has now become a trunk port. Next, we'll navigate back to Port VLAN Membership under the VLAN Management tab. Here, we can see that port number 3 is now a trunk port and is a part of VLAN 1 and 2. Remember that the native VLAN will be untagged and all the other VLANs will be tagged. With that, we've successfully configured VLAN management on an SG550 series switch. Thank you for watching this edition of Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.